Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy. We are discussing uh, Punic section and this is video lecture number 13. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 12 before watching this part 13. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems from the miscellaneous exercise. These are very beautiful questions and we will discuss one by one. So, let us start from question number 1. And the question number 1 is given here that in parabolic ref uh, reflector is 20 cm in a diameter and 5 cm in deep find the focus so here uh, is a parabolic uh, reflector that is what uh, i made it just a second uh, earlier so in this is a parabolic reflector and uh, 5 cm deep 20 diameter so this one must be 10 so the coordinate of this point a will be uh, 5 comma 10 because along y axis i have taken um, vertex at origin so this distance is 5 and this distance is uh, 10 so coordinate is 5 comma 10 since parabola focus lies this is the focus and focus lies on x axis so it must be a uh, parabola of this category y square is equal to 4x since 5 10 lies on parabola hence it will satisfy the equation and therefore 10 square is equal to 4a into x is 5 a is equal to 5 putting the value of a there uh, you will have equation of parabola y square is equal to 20x and focus of this category of parabola is a comma zero so five comma zero will be the answer i hope you got it now the second question is that and uh, an arc is of form of parabola which is uh, with its focus vertical and the arc is 10 meter high focus is vertical means parabola must be equal to x square is equal to 4 a y arc is 10 meter high and 5 meter wide at the base how uh, wide is is 2 meter from the vertex so basically i have taken again this one as uh, so let the equation of parabola h uh, because it is a downward so x square is equal to minus 4ay minus 4ay this is equation 1 and the coordinate of point b would be uh, this is just half so 2.5 comma 10 or 5 by 2 x coordinate and y is minus 10 so 5 by 2 comma minus 10 is the point which lie at b and since uh, minus 5 by 2 since uh, 5 by 2 comma minus 10 5 by 2 comma minus 10 lies on it hence it will satisfy the equation and therefore it will be um, x is 5 by 2 that is 25 by 4 is equal to minus 4 a uh, and y is minus 10 so minus 10 so it will be minus minus plus and uh, this will be 4 4 just 16 5 2 just 10 and 5 5 just 25 so a is minus minus plus and 5 by 4 4 just 16 into 232 so clearly therefore we can write it 4 a is equal to 4 is equal to 5 by 8 and therefore equation of parabola is parabola is x square minus 4 is 5 by 8 into y so this will be the equation of parabola 5 by 8 into y this is the equation of parabola now uh, we have to find that uh, below 2 centimeter what is the width so below 2 centimeter if i suppose this is below 2 centimeter this is 2 centimeter below then what is the length of this that we have to length of p and q that you have to calculate so clearly uh, because total distance is 10 so this distance will be minus 2 isn't it this distance will be minus 2 and the x coordinate we do not know but y coordinate is minus 2 say coordinate of q is coordinate of q is nothing else but uh, coordinate of q uh, is say uh, alpha comma minus 2 right now alpha comma minus 2 alpha comma minus 2 lies on it so it will satisfy the equation isn't it and alpha is what this is the x coordinate from here to here is alpha and y is minus 2 so alpha comma minus 2 lies on it so if they satisfy the equation since alpha comma minus 2 lies on second hence satisfy the equation hence satisfy the equation 
and in that way it will be x is alpha square and this is minus 5 by 8 into minus 2 to cancel this 4 times minus minus plus so alpha square is 5 by 4 and therefore alpha is equal to root 5 by 2 plus minus right now so means point is <coughs> point is this alpha is 5 by 2 so there are two point of hence there are two point of intersection two point of intersection intersection is uh, under root minus 5 by 2 comma minus 2 and under root 5 by 2 comma minus 2 so these are the two point of intersection this and this right now so here two points of intersection p and q now we have to find the length of pq p and q so length of pq is and therefore length of pq is length of pq is 2 times of under root 5 by 2 right now 2 to cancel under root 5 that is 2.23 uh, approx meter or centimeter whatever approx right now <coughs> that will be asked now question number three the cable is uniformly loaded the cable is let me write question till then i will pause the video so here is a question the cable is uniformly loaded suspension bridge hangs from the parabola in form of parabola the roadway which is uh, horizontal and 100 meter long is supported by um, vertical wires attached to the cable of longest wire being 30 meter and the shortest being 6 meter. Find the length of supporting wire attached to the roadway that is 18 meter from the middle. So clearly uh, this will be a parabolic path and uh, it is a parabolic path like uh, this one right now and uh, say like see, big diagram I am going to make it right so like this and uh, this one is uh, intersected by this one is let me make the diagram first and just time possible so this is a diagram this is a road and that cable is minimum length is 6 and maximum length is 30 this is a parabolic support and the length of the uh, distance between two end is 100 meter so if i took this as origin and this is a road so coordinate of this uh, must be 24 uh, y coordinate is 24 and x coordinate is um, 50 so coordinate of this point is 24 50 comma 24 50 comma 24 is the coordinate 50 comma 24 and this is say point a this is B point that is minus 20, uh, 50 comma 24. Now we have uh, since the equation is uh, vertically upward, so equation of parabola will be equation of parabola equation of parabola is uh, x square is equal to 4ay. We can write equation of parabola is and here is some also space so we can start from here let equation of solution is there let equation of parabola equation of parabola equation of parabola is x square is equal to 4ay right since it passes through a since it passes through passes through a point a that is 50 comma 24 and satisfy the equation and satisfy the equation of parabola the equation of parabola this and therefore what will happen in place of x i can write 50 square into 4 into a into y is 24 so that can be 2500 divided by 96 and 4 can cancel this as a is equal to 4 can cancel this 625 divided by 24 this is a and therefore equation of parabola is equation of parabola must be x square is equal to 
625 by 6 because 4a will be 45 right 4a then that will be here 6y isn't it this is the equation of parabola okay now uh, we have to find the width of um, this is 18 centimeter high what is the width of cable so 18 from the equation is given try to understand here what is given there that the find the length of supporting wire attached to the roadway 18 meter from the middle 18 meter from the middle edge that is in this one is middle and 18 meter from middle edge this point isn't it so say this one edge 50 so 18 must be in between somewhere so we have to calculate the length of supporting wire 18 meter from O that is P and this is Q and this is R so length of QR. Since this length is 6 so that will be also 6 and let length of this is K so the coordinate of this point will be Q is 18 comma K so that will be 18 comma K is the coordinate of this point and since 18 comma K lies on parabola hence it will satisfy since q since q 18 comma k lies on parabola on parabola x square is equal to 625 by 6y hence satisfy the equation hence will satisfy the equation it will satisfy the equation satisfy the equation and hence x square is equal to 4ay so 18 square is equal to 625 by 6 into y is k and therefore k is equal to 324 into 6 upon 625 isn't it? so the value of k will be somewhere in between and therefore length of QR is length of QR QR is 6 plus K that is 6 plus 3.11 is 9.11 meter prox right that will be answer now let us discuss question number 4 and question number 4 is an arc is in form of an arc is in form of ellipse form of semi ellipse semi ellipse semi ellipse it is 8 meter wide and 2 meter height and center it is 8 meter wide and 2 meter high at the center at the center right find the height of an arc find the height of an arc or find the height of an arc at the point at the point height of an arc at the point at the point 1.5 meter from one end 1.5 meter from one end an arc is in form of semi ellipse it is 8 meter wide and 2 meter high at the center so again this is a similar type question i can have an ellipse like this right and uh, this is an ellipse and uh, it is uh, <coughs> Here, uh, let us try to understand uh, this is an ellipse here A and B, this is a C and D. If this is taken as origin and this is 2 meter high, so the coordinate of this is 0, 2, and the coordinate of because it is 8 meter wide, so here it will be 4, 0. It means length of major axis is uh, 2a, that is 8. Here, solution I can write here length of 
since it is 8 meter wide, so length of major axis, major axis is a 2a, that is 8, so therefore a is equal to 4 and b is also 2. So equation of ellipse is, here equation of, therefore equation of ellipse is, ellipse is, x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1. This employee x square by 16 plus y square by 4 is equal to 1. This is equation 1. Now we have to calculate uh, the height of, it is given that arc, this is 8 meter wide and 2 meter high at the center. Find the height of an arc. Um, the point 1.5 meter from end one end so this is 1.5 meter this is a point say p and p is this point and q that uh, is the height we have to calculate so coordinate of q must be equal to because it is 1.5 and total is 4 so this must be 2.5 so coordinate of this is 2.5 comma k say suppose and that k you have to calculate so since 2.5 comma k lies on one since 2.5 comma k that is q lies on since 2.5 comma k lies on lies on on ellipse x square by 16 plus y square by 4 is equal to 1 therefore in place of x i can put 2.5 that is 5 by 2 whole square that is 25 by 4 into 16 plus y square that is k square by 4 is equal to 1. So k square by 4 is equal to 1 minus 25 by 64. 64 minus 25 is 39 by 64. Right now? Because, uh, so 39 by 64 and therefore k square is equal to this is k. k square is uh, 39 by 64 into 4 that for this cancel 16 times and therefore k is equal to plus minus root 39 upon 4 and this will be something 6 point something. So 6.1 say 6.1 comma this is uh, um, 4. So it will be cancelled and it will be coming like 1.5 right now 52 1.52 k is 1.52 so length of therefore the length of the length of uh, height of r page not length of but height of r page height of r page 2.1.5 for height of height of r page approx 1.52 meter approx length cannot be negative height cannot be negative so only positive sign is taken not negative sign i hope you got it okay now let us write question number five and the five question is a rod of length 12 centimeter a rod of length 12 centimeter 12 centimeter moves with and ends moves with its ends Always touching the coordinate axis. Always touching the coordinate axis. Touching the coordinate axis. Coordinate axis. Axis. Determine the equation of locus of point. Determine the equation of equation of locus of point. Locus of Determine the locus of point P, point P, point P on the rod, on the rod, which is 3 centimeter, which is 3 centimeter from the end of contact, from the end of contact, end of contact end of contact with the x-axis, with the x-axis, x-axis.
right so here is a question and this is x axis and y axis x axis and this one is y axis this is a rod right this is an origin and that is a rod a rod of length 12 centimeter right so this is 12 centimeter a rod of length 12 centimeter there is a point point say p this is 3 centimeter from this point and the coordinate of that is x comma y say or x1 comma y1 x1 comma y1 so this distance must be uh, here y1 and this distance is x1 now this is 3 3 centimeter and total length of the rod is 12 so that will be 9 okay now uh, say this angle is theta theta so y1 is equal to what will happen this is 9 minus this length is theta so this will be also theta right now according to that this will be a b c d e even this is e b is equal to 9 cos theta so solution by geometry geometry um, b is equal to b is equal to 9 cos theta and a b is equal to 9 sin theta here also um, x1 is b is equal to 9 sin theta that is x1 is equal to 9 cos theta right and here y1 is equal to also from this y1 is equal to uh, 3 cos theta y1 is equal to 3 sin theta now x1 square cos theta and sin theta you know that is 1 so cos theta is equal to x1 by 9 and sin theta is equal to y1 by 3 now squaring and adding since sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 this employee x1 square by 9 plus y1 square by uh, x1 square by 9 square that is 81 x1 square upon 9 square that is 81 plus y1 square upon 9 is equal to 1 now locus of therefore locus of x1 y1 locus of x1 y1 age in place of x y we have to put x1 y1 age locus of x1 y1 age x square plus by 81 plus y square by 9 is equal to 1 which is ellipse which is an ellipse right so these are the questions now let us see question number six and the sixth question is here the find the area of the triangle find the area of the triangle area of the triangle area of the triangle formed by the lines formed by the lines the lines formed by the lines joining the vertex of the parabola lines joining the vertex of on parabola vertex on parabola parabola and parabola x square is equal to 12y and ends on its letter letter and ends on its lattice rectum its lattice rectum rectum okay so this is the question here we have to calculate the area of triangle formed by the lines joining the vertex of parabola x square is equal to 12y parabola is x square is equal to 12y so here the equation of parabola is x square is equal to 12y comparing with x square is equal to 4ay comparing with x square is equal to 4ay a is equal to 3 and parabola will be
para will go along with along x axis along y axis isn't it parabola will be along y axis parabola will be along y axis right okay parabola will be along y axis This is a parabola. No? This is a parabola. Say, parabola is along y-axis and a is three. We have to calculate triangle whose lattice rectum is like uh, uh, this is a lattice rectum of parabola. Say, okay. And now the vertex is lies at uh, one of the vertex is at this um, vertex. So here uh, these are the lines that we have to calculate so here the vertex lies at one of the vertex of parabola is light one of the vertex of triangle is light at this a b and c this coordinate is 0 0 isn't it vertex and end of lattice rectum the question of because focus is here 0 comma a so this line is y is equal to a so y is equal to a that is y is equal to 3 y is equal to 3 is the is the equation of lattice rectum equation of lattice rectum lattice rectum isn't it so here by solving these two we will have x square is equal to 4 a into y is 3 and a is nothing else but 3 12 y this should be x square is equal to 12 and y is 3. So x square is equal to 36 and therefore x is equal to plus minus 6. And therefore coordinate of coordinate of points a is minus 6 comma minus 6 comma 3 and b is uh, 6 comma 3 and c is 0 0 now area of triangle is so area of triangle is this is a parallel to y axis base into height so therefore area of triangle a o a c b area of triangle a c b is 1 by 2 into base a b into height o c 1 by 2 into base a b is nothing else but 6 6 12 and height is uh, what 3 so this is 6 times 6 3 are 18 18 a square unit that will be the area and this will be the answer of this question now we have question number 7 and 7th question is given here that a man running on a re a race course a man is running 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 a race course a race course course race course running a race course notes that notes that here is a question, a man running, a man is running, a man running a race course notes that the sum of distances from the two flag points, these are Fukai from uh, him is always 10 meter and the distance between two flag posts is 8 meter. So find the equation of that flag post trust by him. Clearly uh, here what is the given? Clearly solution the sum of the distances from two foci is always 2a so here 2a is here 2a is 10 given that is equal to length of major axis so a is equal to 5 as the sum of distances between two focal points sum of distances from two focal point from two focal point focal point is equal to equal to is equal to length of major axis 
is equal to length of major axis is equal to length of major axis major axis so 2a is equal to a is equal to 5 i hope you got it okay now the distance between two foci that is 2c is equal to 2c is equal to what is given 8 so c is equal to 4 now a is 5 and c is equal to 4 and uh, therefore b is equal to c square minus a square c is equal to so 4 and therefore eccentricity is c by a that is 4 by 5 and b a square is equal to what a square into 1 minus e square that is 25 into 1 minus 16 by 9 25 that is 9 so b a square is 9 and therefore equation of ellipse age equation of ellipse age x square by a square a square is 25 plus y square by b square that is 9 is equal to 1 which is the required equation of ellipse now one more question and that is question number 8 so here is the question number 8 and that question is given here an equilateral triangle is inscribed an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle is inscribed inscribed in a parabola in a parabola in a parabola y square is equal to 4ax where one vertex is at the vertex of parabola where one vertex is at the vertex of parabola vertex of parabola parabola find the length of side of triangle find the length of side of triangle length of sides of triangle right this is what so here uh, one equilateral triangle is there and uh, a parabola is there so here is one equilateral triangle so this is a you can write like this right so here it is say this is a parabola okay and uh, that will be here is an equilateral triangle parabola is like this okay now equilateral triangle is like this Okay, uh, so this is an equilateral triangle here as per conditions. Um, this is an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle and this line must be perpendicular to AB. Say this point is C. So clearly solutions if I write here then OC is perpendicular to AC, AB. And in equilateral triangle if it will be perpendicular then it will bisect the base. And therefore AC is equal to um, BC. Since A B lift, since A B C, A O B is an equilateral triangle. Since A O B is an equilateral triangle, is an equilateral triangle, lateral triangle of side A, of side A. Say, therefore, O A is equal to O B is equal to A B is equal to A and therefore AC is equal to BC is equal to A by 2. Now since uh, OC is, we do not know what is the coordinate of OC. So say this is K, this is K. So K and this must be equal to A by 2. This length is A by 2, isn't it? This length is A by 2. So this point, uh, coordinate of A will be K comma A by 2, coordinate of a will be a by 2 and k comma a by 2 
and the relation between them is because this distance is a so uh, k square is equal to what will be that hypotenuse square a square minus a by 2 whole square so that will be uh, a square minus a square by 4 and that will be 3 a square by 4 and therefore k is equal to root 3 by 2 a so the coordinate of this will be x coordinate will be root under 3 by 2 comma a uh, root under 3 by 2 comma a and a by 2 is the coordinate of a similarly uh, here k will be plus minus so one coordinate will be in denominator as well now since uh, root 3 comma a since uh, root 3 by 2 comma a and a by 2 lies on parabola lies on parabola and parabola y square is equal to 4x y square is equal to 4x 4x hence satisfy the equation hence it will be satisfy the equation it will satisfy the equation hence it will satisfy the equation it will satisfy the equation and therefore y square that is a square by 4 is equal to 4 into a a is already given so we can choose some other variable say so this age a dash right now a dash and uh, x age what x age root under 3 by 2 isn't it so here a dash will be this cancel two times and two will come this side so it will be a dash is equal to a square by 8 4 to the 8 uh, root 3 isn't it a root 3 and uh, this is a dash now a square is equal to a square is equal to what is that a root 3 a dash x is uh, root 3 by a so a 1 a and 1 a cancel out so here it will left only a not a square so a is equal to a root 3 a dash and this is the length of this is what i suppose uh, therefore length of therefore length of length of sides of therefore length therefore length of sides of length of sides of equilateral triangle is equilateral triangle is um, a that is a two three a dash a dash an equation i have taken a dash uh, if you take a then this will be a two three a that will be also so nothing else you can change it because i haven't seen so i have taken same variable you can change it right i hope you got it so that's all in this uh, exercise hopefully you enjoyed this these are very good questions and uh, hopefully you understood uh, each and every question uh, so keep watching and uh, god bless thank you thank you very much we will start next topic in the next lecture till then bye bye